ever wondered how your blood type is determined? It's a fascinating process that hinges on the principle of antigen-antibody reactions. In the vast world of human blood, there exist different types, primarily A, B, AB, and O, which are further classified based on the presence or absence of the RH factor. This classification, known as the ABO and RH blood groups, is of great importance in medical procedures like blood transfusion and organ transplantation. Incorrect matching can lead to severe immune reactions. So how exactly do we determine these blood groups? The answer lies in a simple yet effective laboratory technique called the slide method. This method, favored for its ease and rapid results, involves the use of specific antibodies that react with the antigens present in your blood. Today, we unravel the mystery behind blood grouping using the slide method. So, what exactly is the slide method, you may ask? Well, it's a popular and straightforward technique used to classify human blood into different ABO and RH types. This method is highly favored due to its simplicity and reliability. Now, let's talk about what you'll need to perform the slide method. First and foremost, you'll need whole blood. Ideally, this should be unclotted or fresh blood. The quality of the blood sample can significantly impact the accuracy of your results. Next on the list is a glass slide. This will serve as your working surface where the blood grouping process will take place. Remember, it's crucial that your slide is clean and free from any contaminants that could potentially interfere with your results. Now, you might be wondering, how do I get the blood onto the slide? That's where the dropper comes in. This simple tool will allow you to precisely place drops of blood onto the slide, ensuring that you have a controlled and manageable sample to work with. And of course, we can't forget about the blood group reagents. These include anti-A antibody, anti-B antibody, and anti-D antibody. These reagents are critical to the slide method as they enable us to identify the different blood groups. When mixed with the blood sample, these antibodies will react in a specific way, depending on the type of blood present. Lastly, you'll need a clean wooden or plastic stick to mix the blood and reagents. This could be something as simple as a toothpick. The main thing is that it's sterile and won't introduce any unwanted substances into your sample. So there you have it. The essential items for performing the slide method. Each one plays a crucial role in ensuring the accuracy and reliability of your results. It's a testament to the beauty of scientific methods. Even the most straightforward procedures require careful planning and precision. Now that we've gathered our materials, let's delve into the procedure. The slide method is a straightforward procedure that can be divided into a few simple steps. Let's start with preparing the work area. First, you'll need whole blood, preferably fresh and unclotted, a glass slide, a wooden or plastic stick, a dropper and blood group reagents such as anti-A, anti-B and anti-D antibodies are also required. To begin the procedure, place three drops of blood each in a separate glass slide or distantly in the same glass slide. If the blood is in a tube, a dropper can be used. Alternatively, you can sterilize the fingertip of a person using spirit, prick the finger using a sterile lancet, and then drop the blood onto the glass slides. Next, place a drop of anti-A antibody, which is a blue-colored antisera, over one drop of blood on the slide. Similarly, place a drop of anti-B antibody, a yellow-colored antisera, over another drop of blood. Finally, place a drop of anti-D antibody, a colorless antisera, over the final drop of blood. It's important to use a clean and separate stick for each blood drop to avoid cross-contamination. Mix the antisera with the blood drops thoroughly. This allows the antibodies in the antisera to interact with any corresponding antigens in the blood. Now comes the waiting game. Let the blood antisera mixtures sit undisturbed for about two to five minutes. This allows time for visible clumps or agglutination to form if the blood contains antigens that react with the antibodies in the antisera. Once the waiting period is over, it's time for observation. Look for the formation of visible clumps over the reaction mixtures. The presence or absence of these clumps will help determine the blood type. If a clump is formed in the mixture of blood and antisera A, then the blood is type A. 
if a clump is formed in the mixture of blood and anti-sera B, then the blood is type B. If a clump is formed in the mixture of blood and anti-sera A and anti-sera B both, then the blood is type AB. If a clump is not formed in the mixture of blood and both anti-sera A and anti-sera B, then the blood is type O. For the RH factor, if a clump is formed in the mixture of blood and anti-sera D, then the blood is RH positive. If a clump is not formed in a mixture of blood and anti-sera D, then the blood is RH negative. The slide method is a simple and effective way to determine blood types. It can be done in a lab, in the field, or anywhere you have the necessary equipment and reagents. With the steps completed, we now need to interpret our results. At this point, you're probably wondering what those clumps on your slide mean. Well, those clumps are your answers. The formation of visible clumps in the blood antisera mixtures indicates the blood type. If a clump is formed in the mixture of blood and antisera A, then the blood is type A. If a clump is formed in the mixture of blood and antisera B, then the blood is type B. If clumps are formed in the mixtures of both antisera A and antisera B, then the blood is type AB. And if no clump is formed with either antisera A or antisera B, then the blood is type O. Now let's talk about the RH factor. If a clump is formed in the mixture of blood and antisera D, then the blood is RH positive. If no clump is formed, then the blood is RH negative. And that's how you determine blood type using the slide method. Simple, right? Now that we know how to determine blood type, why is the slide method so important? The slide method is a cornerstone in blood grouping due to its simplicity, accuracy, and speed. It is so straightforward that even those with minimal laboratory training can perform it with precision. This makes it an invaluable tool, especially in emergency situations where time is of the essence. What sets the slide method apart is its remarkable accuracy. The visual clumping of blood cells provides a clear, unambiguous result, minimizing the risk of human error. With the slide method, there's no second guessing. A clump means a positive match. Moreover, the slide method delivers results in minutes, making it an ideal choice for rapid blood typing. This quick turnaround can be critical in life-saving situations where every second counts. Remember, knowing your blood type can be a lifesaver. So, the next time someone asks, do you know your blood type? You can confidently say, yes I do, I 